Good morning, or yep, still good morning. Uh, welcome back to another um, Thursday class. It's going to be uh, beginners and intermediate old ages. Let's get right started. Stand up with shoulder width, round out, turn to your right, turn, one, two, three, switch, one, two, three, switch, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, and three. One hand up, other one on your waist, side bends, one, two, three, switch, one, two, three, switch, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, and three. Palms in front of you. You're going to tilt forward. Just go as far as you can. Don't forget to breathe. One, two, three. Switch to your right. One, two, three. Switch. One, two, three. Palms up. Inhale up. Exhale down. Again, one, two, three, switch, one, two, three, switch, one, two, three, palms up, inhale, palms down, exhale. Again, one, two, three, one, two, three, switch, one, two, Three, palms up, inhale, exhale. Okay, waist rotations, palms on your waist, turn to your right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, and two, switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One and two. Cross your arms. Place your palms on your knees. Knee rotations. Turn to your right. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One and two. Okay, switch, switch directions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One and two. Okay, next. Next exercises. Turn to your right, then your left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One and two. Up and down. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One and two. Tilt in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One and two. Rotations three times. One, two, and three. Switch. One, two, and three. Okay, ready? Palms up. Inhale. One, two, and three. 
Okay, open up your stance, heels out, toes, heels, and toes. Turn to your right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, and two. Okay, cross your fingers. Turn to your right. You're going to stretch. Okay, switch. One, two, three, switch. One, two, three, switch. One, two, and three. Okay, you're going to switch. You're going to stretch. Then your waist. Just go as far as you can. Switch. 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 Okay, middle. Turn to your right. Turn to your left. Okay, middle. You're going to bend one knee. Then you're going to stretch. You can put your toes up. You're going to switch. Switch. This time you're going to put the toe down. You're going to switch. Okay, open up. Just go as far as you can. That's all you can go. That's fine. If you're more flexible, if you're a youth, they're more flexible, as we know. Just go as far as you can. You don't have to go this low. Okay. Switch to the side. Switch. Other side. So just because I'm doing this does not mean you have to do it. I just like to stretch because before I kick, I'm nice and loose. Loose like a goose, like Sifu says. Okay, switch. I'm going to close it and shake it out. So those are some stretches. You don't have to go that deep. If you're a beginner, um, I would not suggest it. So start slow. Eventually, gradually, 
you increase your range of motion. Two and three. And those are not my words, those are Sifu words. Okay, ready? Palms in your waist. You're gonna punch. Begin. Switch. Okay, switch. Switch. Okay, next, both palms up. I'm going to slightly turn the waist. One hand down, one up. Okay, continue. edge of the palm to the side, one hand on your palm, on your waist, other one is punching. Okay, switch. Okay, next, both palms in front of you. Okay, you need to punch in front, circles. One hand after the other one. So if you're a beginner, take your time. One hand after the other. If you're a little bit more advanced, intermediate, you can speed it up. Okay, back this. Okay, to the side. Switch. And last punch. Okay, deep breathing. Inhale. Exhale down gently. One. Two, and three. Okay, next we're gonna do the horse stance with the basic blocks and punching. Okay, hands on your waist, slightly bend your knees, heels out, toes out, heels out, toes out slightly. If you're standing up, actually try to bend your knees if you're not able to go too low, that's okay. If you're a beginner, just try your best. Okay, punching. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One and two. Close. One, two, and three. Low block. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. One and two. Extend, close. One, two, and three. Middle block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One and two. Extend. One, two, and three. High block about eyebrow level. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One and two. Extend. Close. One, two, and three. Okay, all three blocks. Start with your right hand, low, middle, high. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, and three. Extend your palm. Close. One, two, and three. Low block, punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, and two. Close. One, two, and three. Middle block and punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. One and two. Both palms in front. Close. One, two, and three. High block. Punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One and two. Close. One, two, and three. Okay, palms together. You're going to extend them, bend the thumb, bend the last three fingers. You're going to press to the side. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, low. One, two, three. Four, five, and six. Okay, next, eyebrow level. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, next, last set in front. One, two, Three, four, five, and six. Okay, thrust. Turn your palms. Get it close. One, two, three. Okay, so don't stand up. First, you close the heels, toes, heel, and toes. Okay, shake it out. Deep breathing. Inhale. One. Two and three. Okay, kicks. We do kicks. Check your take your right leg, bring it back. So she's in the leaning stance. Okay, both palms in front. You're gonna do two punches in front of you. One, two, pivot your leg, bring your knee up, and kick. Kick with the blade. Actually the instep, they call it. Okay, next. You're gonna do six counts. Again, one. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, switch. You're going to be kicking with your left leg, so that's the rear. Okay, next, six counts. Begin. One, two, three, four, five. Six. 
Okay, next. In between. Kicking with the heel. Again, two punches. One, two, pivot your foot. Bring your knee up. And kick with the heel. So this part. Okay, six counts. Let's begin. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, switch. And a kick with the left leg again. Two punches and a kick. One, two, three, four. Five, six, okay, switch, next kick, try not to bend the knee straight up, just kick as high as you can, kind of like if you're kicking a football without bending the knee, okay, begin, six counts, go, one, two, three, Four, five, six, switch. Okay, six counts again. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, shake it out. Next kick, roundhouse to the waist. So you don't have to kick too high, just go about your waist level. One, two, bring, you're actually going to bring your knee up. So twist, bring your knee up, kick, and back. Okay, begin. One, two, three, four. Five, six, okay, switch, you're going to kick with the left leg, palms up, one, two, three, four, five, and six, okay, last set of kicks, same type of kick, Roundhouse, but a little bit higher. Try to kick to your head or high level. Okay, ready? Six counts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, switch. You're going to kick with your left leg. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, shake it out. Deep breathing. One, two, and three. Okay, get a drink of water. Quick drink. If you're at the academy, usually we take a water break right now. Um, so we're going to do the five stances. First form, second form, third form, and fourth form. So just running down the names. Bambukun, I'm sorry, Moifakun is the first one. Laogaokun is the second one. Bambukun is the third. Jinjin is the fourth. All right, let's begin with the five stances. Okay, feet. Okay, palms on the side. One, two, three. Turn, press one, two. Close the hands, pull back. So open up your two fingers. Open. One, two, 
three, up, thrust, to the side, down, okay, salute, one, two, three, set up your hands, bend your knees, open up, two, offset horse stance, okay, so block, slide step, turn to leaning, other hand underneath, remove, turn, punch, cross step, dragon's tail, they call that, spin, corner back fist, eyebrow level, block, twist stance, step up, suspended or cat stance, punch, step back, okay, you're in this position, leaning position, okay, raise your foot and your knee, so you're going to step if you can jump or hop, that's usually the movement. But if you cannot, you're going to step one, two. Step up, uppercut, leaning. Okay, close. Okay, shake it out. One, two, and three. So I want to do it facing the other direction. Come over here. Okay. Palms down. Bring your hands to your waist. One. Two. Open up your hands. Turn. Press forward. Turn. Close your arms. Pull back. Open up. One. So you're going to push three times. One. Two. Three. Up. One. Two. Three. Down, salute, close, one, two, three. Set up your hands, so you're going to be blocking. Okay, bend your knees, open up, offset. Okay, block, slice step, turn to leaning, punch. Step up, remove, turn, punch. Cross step, dragon's tail, spin, corner back fist. Okay, twist stance, block. Punch, should be in a suspended or horse, horse stance offset, leaning up. So I'm going to hop, chop, uppercut, close, check it out, keep breathing, one, palms up, two, inhale when you go up, exhale when you come down gently, three. Okay, facing the camera. Okay, palms on the side. One, two, open up, fingers, turn, press forward. One, turn, close your fingers, pull back, open up, press. One, two, three, up, one, two, three, down, salute. One, two, three. Set up your hands because you're going to be blocking. Bend your knees. Offset. Okay, block. Slide step. Turn to leaning. Punch. Step up. Remove. Turn. Punch. Cross step. Spin. Corner back fist. Twist stand. Suspend it. Turn and punch. Step back. Offset. Lean back. Knee up, hop, chop, uppercut, close. Perfect. Shake it out. Keep breathing. One, two, and three. Okay, next we're going to do the first form. It's called Moifakran. Okay, plum flower. Face the mirror. Okay, step back a little bit. Okay, feet three inches apart, palms on the side. Okay, begin one. Okay, salute. Two, bend your knees. Step, suspend it. Salute. One, two, three. Relax your knees. Turn, offset, horse stance. High block, low block, twist around, turn, dragon, 
set up your hands, step back, offset, block, scoop, uppercut, remove, block, punch, squat down, upcut, remove, turn, punch, suspended, horse stance. Okay, lean to the back, to the rear, lean forward, drunken fist, remove, turn, punch, squat down. Okay, you can do uppercut, slide step, remove, turn and punch, squat down, trapping hand, step up, suspended, cross, okay, cutting hands, leaning, palm, remove, turn, punch, okay, step to the back, to the rear, remove, elbow, back fist, palm, high block, outside crescent kick, you're going to jump, kick, step down, block, trapping hand, back fist, remove, turn, punch, step back, one, two, block, slice step, palm, scoop, press, kick, turn, dragon, step back, slice step, turn, punch, salute, one, two, step back, one, two, and three, shake it out, keep breathing, one, two, and three. Second form is the, the next one, Lao Gao Kun. So don't forget, if you have any questions, just send an email or in YouTube underneath during the chat box. Okay, second form. Okay. One, two, turn, three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Up. One, two, three. One, two, three. Step back. Lean. Chop. Scoop. Press. Kick. Turn and punch. One, two. Block. Slice step. Turn to leaning. Punch. Step up. Diagonal punch, one, double block, two, middle, dragon, cross step, spin. Okay, you're gonna slide step sometimes, palm, scoop, press, kick, switch, thrust, open, chop, diagonal punch, blade kick, step up, phoenix eye. Okay, you're gonna step. To that direction, one, two, remove, elbow, strike down, back fist, switch. So all this is just a repeat, punch, step through, diagonal punch, double block, middle block, dragon, cross step, spin, palm, scoop, press, Kick, switch, thrust, open, chop, okay, diagonal, punch, blade, set up your hands, phoenix eye, one, two, flip your hands, three, step, push, one, two, three, push, one, Two, three, offset, slide your foot back, leaning, chop, slide your foot back, elbow, strike down, back fist, set up your fingers, one, two, three, one, salute, turn, one, two, three, shake it out, deep breathing. Inhale, exhale down, one, 
two, and three. Okay, shake it out. We're going to do a third form, Bumbakan, Praying Mantis, or what they call it, Seven Star, Praying Mantis. Okay, I'm going to face this way so I have enough room to step. Okay, palms down. One, two, three, one. Hop, punch, step, one. Okay, you can do three steps. One, two, lean. You're going to thrust, step through, punch, cross step, punch, remove, elbow, back fist, set up your hands, thrust, pull down, high block, set up your hand, change your fist, scoop, one, okay, and step, one, two, three, set up your hand, punch, step through, uppercut, up, one, two, three, step through, punch, one, pull down, two, turn, step, one, two, three, set up your hands, you're going to turn, chop, scoop, one, pull back, two, pivot your toe, heel, one, okay, set up your hands, switch, one, two, Three, kick, kick, slap, pull, one, hook, one, press, two, block, turn to the other corner, one, two, three, middle block, one, three punches, one, two, three, turn, switch, one, okay, sweep, one, two, three, step, one, Two, pull, and chop. Hook, back fist. One, okay, hop. One, two, three. Punch, one, two, turn. One, two, okay, shake it out. Deep breathing. Inhale. One. Two and three. We still have time for the fourth form. Chen Chen. Okay, so I'm gonna face the mirror. Okay, fourth form. Be three inches apart, palms down. Okay, begin. One, two, three, four. Step. Salute. One, two, three. Relax. So slightly bend the knees. One. Two, okay, up, cross, turn, okay, press, one, two, three, offset, turn, one, two, turn, thrust, close, actually, when you're here, bring it back, offset, one, two, three, thrust, close, step back, trapping hand, cunning hand, palm, punch, turn, one, two, three. Okay, offset, trapping hand, cutting hand, palm, punch, turn, one, two. Okay, up, one, open, two, three, one, two, turn, a roll, one, palm to the chin, two, three, scoop, one, two, Three, scoop, one, two, three, one, two, three, up, okay, down, remove, one, two, three, close, set up, one, two, three, shift your weight, okay, step, offset, double block, step, thrust, turn, punch, one, two, Three, switch, one. So it repeats, step, thrust, turn, one, two, three. Step back, set up your hands, in a block. Okay, actually scoop, uppercut, remove.
Okay, one, two. Block, scoop, uppercut, remove, turn, one, two. So that just repeats itself. Set up your hands, step back, one, two. Block, fly step, palm. It's actually punch. Step up, block, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, punch, one, two, three. Okay, you're gonna switch, corner back fist, step, block, slice the turn, punch, okay, remove, elbow, strike down, palm, cutting hand, palm, turn, so you can jump, if you cannot jump too high, that's fine, okay, jump, press, one, two, three, one, two, step, one, two, three, one, cross step, flip your hands, set up your hands, press, one, two, press, I'm going to step back, one, two, three, chop, okay, flip, one, two, three, turn, one, two, three, block, fly step, turn, one, two, three, close, one, two, three, shake it out, okay, deep breathing, inhale, one, two, and three. So Sifu's going to come in. Give us uh, two minutes because I broke the mic. There's one mic broken, so I got to do the switch. So hold on. We got a new mic coming. His name is Mike something. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, right now we're micless. Okay. Okay, I'll need that. Okay. All right. Yeah, that was, uh, there was no social distancing with the mic. Okay. So how are we doing? Everyone just gotten through the forms and we're ready to go. Okay, as you know, we're planning on a soft opening at the end of June. Uh, it looks like our first class potentially could be June 29th. And then there's a couple of classes and July 4th is on the weekend. So, you know, that might be something that we would consider that we wouldn't have class on July 4th anyway. So. Um, We'll be rolling that out soon, let you know anyways. Uh, with that said, uh, if you're a part of the membership, let us know if you're going to be coming back and the email's going out. That email you should respond to and anyone that's kind of taken the time off during um, this pandemic, uh, Lucien will send you a specific email and then you can respond, yeah, I'm coming back in Ju July, August, or September. That way uh, we can plan ahead as to how we're going to run the classes, including the, uh, the streaming. So the streaming is something we're going to continue to do. Okay, so let's uh, go through some of the positions that we did in the five stands form. Okay, so I don't know for sure if you understand what we're doing is setting up and then executing. Setting up and then executing. Setting up executing, set up, execute, set up, execute, set up, execute, set up, execute, set up, execute. So you know, there's always a beginning part of a movement to the end as a posture. So you have to prepare, set up your body, and then execute is the finishing of the movement. So the timing in every movement, remember your hands and legs and the final position should stop at the same time. In other words, if I block, that's a finished movement. If I chop, that's a finished movement. Where the body form comes in is when I go like this and go like this, you don't want to lose, lose this hand. You want to stay here and do that because when you're using this movement, you actually block like this, but you have captured your opponent's arm or your partner if you're working with a person, and that's your position. So that's why 
when we do the forms, we have positions, we have positions, we have positions. So all of these things become part of the action, but then you develop some muscle memory for all of these positions. So the, say in the second form, when we go like this, we turn, then step, and then salute. We turn the hands, we learn to pull back at the same time. So this is beginning to blend the movements from start to finish. So that's what timing is. As your form evolves, all of these positions become what we call as part of the muscle memory. But obviously when we go like this, that becomes that versus one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. So that's basically how you learn it. But that's finding each position, right? So there's a middle block, a drop, a stance, a stance, a pivot, a step, turning, and here. But when you actually blend them together, you're like this, right? And then we're turning this way, like this. So we're one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. So you see, the movements start to connect. So that's what we call coordination. Coordination is the upper and lower body combining. So that's how we break it down, right? And that's how we learn it. It's kind of, I call it the block form. It's like building blocks. And then you kind of smooth it out. It's like the ABCs, and then you learn how to print or block. Then you start to write and you start to script. So when you start to do that, everything is smoothed out, and you take all the corners out of it. So essentially, when we're doing movements, we're like drawing in space. We're scribing these patterns. We're scribing these um, different points. And where, the, where you finish those ideas in your sketch has to be how your movements are finishing and finalizing. So then you, at the end of it, you capture a picture. It's an image. That image is what we call the body form. The transition, if it was video, has to be smooth and it has to be connected. Now, if you're doing it on a sheet of paper, it's flat. And you only can see, so you have to imagine that dimension. But if you're doing it in space and you're doing it with video, now you can see the dimension of the movement. So movement's actually three-dimensional. So three-dimensional type of action, you know, it's, it's much more complex and it's much more complicated because now you have the body form, the position, the timing, what moves first, what moves second, what moves third. So when we break it down when you're first learning it, you're going to see that there is a lot of, um, you know, a lot of strategy and thought put into how we learn. You know, just a simple thing like when we just did in the setups, we're, this is a setup. When we go like this, that's a combined setup. So begin to understand you know, what that's like when you're learning the first four forms and <clears throat> evolve from there. So with the second form, I did just did the opening and I blended that together. Right? So when we're here, we learn like this. It's just hand movements. So a lot of movements that we learn in the beginning are stationary. So if I go like this, right, I go like this, like this, we can memorize these movements, but we have no body form, right? When we go like this, I just went up and down. And then I curve my back and thrust, sink. Open, push, one, two, three. Okay, so the, 
that's how you open the form. You blend those movements. But if I'm here, okay, after I do this, when I scoop, I can go like this, do this first, step, step, and punch. That's kind of robotic and broken down. You should be understanding that when you do this, 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 and this, that you start to move your hands and your legs together. Because when you move your hands and legs together, that gives you a technique. Because when you move with a block, you have to avoid. In one of the other classes, we talk about avoiding. When something comes toward you, you can avoid by ducking or stepping back or moving away. It's, it's just part of getting out of the way. If a car was coming at you, you'd have to try to jump to the side. You're not going to stand there and stop it. So you're going to have to understand how to avoid a technique. So avoiding and then combining with your hand gives you a combination of movement. So if I do this, that's an avoiding. Right? So these are avoiding and leaning and moving. So your hands and feet start to react. So you develop response. You know, how do you do this, step back, and then try to apply it to you? It doesn't work. Actually, the first line of defense is put your hand up and avoid. Avoid first is actually the first line is at least try to move away. But you have to balance between moving this far away and moving like that. Okay. So look at, look at this line directly in front of me. And there's your center line. So if I went like this, that's enough to intercept. Okay. I can intercept here, along here. Now if I go like this, I moved away a little bit as an avoidance. If I move over here, I avoid even more. Right? So you can see between the hand and the leg that you have a moving. You're moving. Right? But I don't do this. I do this. Okay, so the space that you're dealing with is still there. It's just that you're not there. So that's what, what we're doing when we're doing this, this. We're moving when we're like this. It was here, I turned it to there. I'm here, and this comes up. So that's really the idea of coordinating your hands and legs. So when we're, when we're moving in our form, one, two, three, in a sense, I'm sinking and ducking, and then I'm leaning and moving. So if I go like this and I go like this, I actually kind of rock my body a little bit to sink. When I turn, because it's here, I'm moving like this. See, that's how we get into a dragon. So when we learn to move, we have to create something here and something here. So horse stance, right? Low block, twist. So when you make your twist, there's your starting position and here's that. So why stop here and why stop go to there, this is the setup, that's your maneuver. But you maneuver not because you're just doing that, you have to do this. Okay. So that's where your hands and legs have to go together. When I'm stepping away, that's retreating. When I'm here, the punch is coming toward me, that's avoiding. Now I can avoid and just do that, or I can avoid and do that. See, so that's what's happening when we're stepping. One, two, and move. So really when you hook, you're really blending those together. When you first learn the first one, you want one, two, right? Three, four, five. Step back. One, two, three. And then you want one, two, three. So that's the breakdown. But in reality, in order for the movement to actually be somewhat practical, when we're here, this has to be here. Right? When we're here, that has to go together with this. This 
and this go together. So you see how the, you have to blend the two positions and make a transition inside the posture for you to tie those movements together. That's one of the reasons why a lot of times when people study traditional martial arts, they say you can't use it. It's ineffective. It's ineffective because you don't understand really the transition side of it and what's happening between the hands and the legs. It won't work separately because it just is not designed to be efficient or effective that way. But it is designed to teach your body positions before you make your transitions. So that's really, um, you know, when we're dealing with movement and we're dealing with functionality, you have to kind of understand you know, what you're doing in the position and what you're doing before and after uh, the positions. So the be beginning of a position, like a cross hand or this, there's two endpoints. The setup is the avoidance. The finishing is how you apply that. Your connection to you know, whatever your target is. Okay. It, it's like that with anything you do that requires hitting a target. So one of the things that you hit a target I do the use the arrow type of a thing. You know, when you even hitting a baseball or kicking a ball, your first thing is you have to set up what you're going to hit. So if it's a ball, if it's a uh, something coming at you, which is harder to do, it's harder to hit a moving target. So you have to kind of plan and schedule and judge that distance, which is perception, and you can kick, or you plan and you strike, and then you have to. Um, Use those sight lines. Sight lines are when you follow your hand, then you have a sight line. You follow your hand, and you have a sight line. You have your hand. So when you go through your forms, most important thing is once you've memorized a sequence somewhat, your eyes have to track your hands because it's taking you in direction and space. It's sort of like riding your bike. You know, if you just hold on the steering wheel and steer at, you know, the space between the handlebars, you're not going to know where you're going to go. You have to look ahead of you and steer yourself into those directions depending on where you're going. So that's very important. Hand-eye coordination. So that's something you should practice more. Um, get this idea in your head, and then you can uh, practice your forms and get something out of it. All right, I'll see you next time. On that note, um, thumbs up, YouTube, subscribe.